Well, Mercyhurst University held an event today called the Erie Amazing Race. It's part of their summer program known as CREATE. Matt Mathias followed students as they raced around the city, finding clues to their next destination. Matt. Brian Mercyhurst, pre-college students had to rely on help from the community as they traveled around the city. The CREATE program is all about helping students that are on the spectrum own their social skills. According to Mercyhurst, 21 young people that are diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder called the university home during the month of July as they test the waters of college life. These students do everything that normal university students would do. Eat in dining halls, take three credit courses, and live in residence halls. Of the various exercises and activities that happen over the course of the month, the Erie Amazing Race is one that really challenges the students. Because a part of it, part of people being successful is working on in their independence. And today they'll they'll independently navigate through Erie. They'll have a map, they'll be able to walk downtown, they'll be able to go up to people, ask for directions, and those are skills that can make anyone um, feel uneasy or uncomfortable. Mudler adds on to this saying that one of the issues with high functioning ASD students is that although they can be extremely smart, they are often unfamiliar with certain social skills. This activity challenges them to work through them. The event has been a hit with CREATE in prior years. However, much like it impacted everything, COVID has gotten in the way of the race over the past few years. Those involved with the CREATE program at Mercyhurst reinforced to us how important it is for these students to get some experience with socializing. The Amazing Race is really going to test them to get out of their comfort zone completely and they're going to have to do things that they may not be comfortable with and it's going to help them and teach them social skills for when they move ahead in life, not just even beyond college. The race kicked off around 11.30 a.m. at the UPMC Stadium and included stops such as Perry Square, the Maritime Museum, the Bicentennial Tower, and concluded at the Presque Isle Lighthouse. Brian? Thank you, Matt.